Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I am very happy to have here in studio from All Action Sports, Tony Duffy, and uh, brought with him, uh, I'm pretty excited, uh, Taylor McCullough, from, uh, a pro from She Shreds, as well as uh, for Super Boats. Thank you for being here, both of you. Awesome, glad to, to be here. Guys here. I'm, I'm excited because, uh, you know, we know now with these temperatures it's summer, but the other way we know is when we start seeing people out uh, wakeboarding and finally getting in the water because the temperatures are up enough that you can do that. Absolutely. And you kind of are kicking off the season right, my friend. Yeah, we've got uh, a whole bunch of events going on this season, um, starting with actually uh, tomorrow up at East Canyon Reservoir, the uh, Super Amumba Summer Crush. It's brought to you by Marine Products, which is a early season wakeboard competition and wake surf demo event. So we kind of treated it as an invitational event for the region's riders, kind of running intermediate through like an outlaw men's class of competitor. Wow. Um, kind of getting the, the, the core competitors engaged early for the season. Uh, and then the other part of the day is a wake surfing demo where they'll be able to demo uh, all the different boards in the quiver and in the offering for marine products and behind brand new Super and Moomba boats to kind of test wow. waves and wave shapes. Uh, Tons of stuff on the shoreline too. We've got uh, blobs, you know, the catapult things, yes. uh, and some on onshore board trainers, you know, <laughs> DJ, food. So it'll be a real party on shore too. Uh, super family friendly, and uh, looking forward to getting the season started. Well, it's a great spot to do it. Uh, East Canyon for those folks who haven't been up there. Uh, not so many people go in there all the time that you can't uh, enjoy the water in its glassy finest. It's it, it's incredible up there. Yeah, and with this event too, because we were asked to do this event by DNR, so they're actually uh, restricting some of the water that we need. Nice. Um, so we'll have you know clear passage for the uh, the wakeboard competition and also what is usually a cove that is wake restricted to begin with. They're allowing right. us to run our surf demo there, so it'll be optimal conditions for anyone who participates. That's uh, ideal. Yeah. So we still have some spots left for the Wake Surf Comp, uh, and you can register still at wakeutah.com. So terrific, man! I, this is I can't wait. This is going to be a lot of fun. You know, Marine Products uh, they they know how to throw a competition too. That's that's something that they know a little bit about, and they get you involved, uh, you know, as well, making the atmosphere of it all what it needs to be. It's going to be a great time. Yeah, building it up, and it's been a pleasure to work with those guys, and and gratefully with you know coming out of the Midwest, this was kind of my some of my mode of operation with action sports marketing and building events and kind of consulting for a, a number of different properties and uh, and whatnot. Um, so I'm fortunate to work with them and, and Club Rec and uh, a number of other larger activators, Board Co. and uh, uh, their boat lines with Centurion, et cetera. So we're able to bring a, bring a number of people together as we go through the season, because in uh, July we also have the Wake Up Weekend, which is uh, uh, two days of events, Wake Surf and Wakeboard Comp. Uh, and then we also brought online for uh, for this year, a uh, we're, we're bringing a world tour stop for the World Wake really? Surfing Championship Series uh, to up to Pine View as well. Uh, wow. the Rocky Mountain Wake Surf Open. So, yeah, building a significant portfolio of events and be, being able to involve um, all the different boat manufacturers and retailers and pro shops really helps to build community and it like drives the commerce around it and it's just good business period. Uh, well, that's what, you know, as uh, Ben Franklin said, we can hang together or we can hang separately, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> it's, so, it's so important to bring, uh, you know, these groups together that know what they're doing and, and, you know, that can each bring something to the table. And I think you see that in this video that we've been watching here, you know, all the different, uh, all those different groups together making a, the party atmosphere here. Where is this at? Oh, this is footage from last year's uh, uh, Wake Up Weekend at Pine View. Pine View. Um, and that's yep. the 29th and 30th this year. That's actually pulled by uh, Tiger Boats and Germain Marine. Wow. So it's kind of neat that we're able to kind of parcel it out. We get them to work really closely together for like the wake surf demos where sure. we go head to head to head with the boat brands and, and manufacturers. Uh, but then it's kind of neat that some of the, the bigger players have stepped up to kind of title sponsor and help us, you know, facilitate and fund uh, the core events. So, you know, Summer Crush, MP Supra, Wake Up Weekend, Taiga, and almost everybody, and then Rocky Mountain Wake Surf Open with Board Co and uh, Centurion. So. You know, that's an important consideration too, and we're going to talk with uh, Taylor about this in a moment. Everybody has their favorite boat to get behind. Right. And it's everything from the direction of the prop turns to the type of wake that it creates to the different devices that it has for creating wakes. Everything's a little, everybody's got a little different feel, and whichever one is the one you like is the one you like. So nope. having separate, you know, uh, events with different ones is kind of, it's a good idea. You know what really wins? Cup holders. 
Yeah. How many cup holders? <laughs> how many do you cup have? Holders? I, uh, it's, it's amazing how many people like make a decision based on how many cup holders. Uh, but yeah, it's it's interesting because they're all fantastic brands, and, and over yeah. the last few years, and she would probably concur that like the R and D has gone mad uh, it's in that sector. Yeah. And the the wake shaping technologies and the ability to wake boats and how they've now geared uh, geared uh, the propulsion systems and the horsepower to be able to drive massive amounts of weight through the water to create things is really like arc to the sports absolutely so it's really cool well, let's bring Taylor into that conversation and she knows a lot more about getting behind these boats than you and I do for sure yeah. I'm it's great to have you here uh, I'm surprised you have time in the in the pro circuit to get, give us some time but thank you oh yeah of course super glad to be here yeah so talk to me about your your you of course uh, you know you uh, wakeboard behind a super boat typically or Mumba boat right uh, super super yes. okay so talk to me about that and uh, why you like it yeah. Yeah, I currently have the Supra SA 550, and it's by far one of my favorite boats. It has one of the best wakes on it, and you can get out with your friends and just go out and have a good time, and yeah. it's, it's a good, Pretty <laughs> ideal. good day, yeah. Talk to me about uh, this last year for you. You've, you've been competing worldwide. <laughs> you've been everywhere. Some places great, some not so great, as <laughs> yep. we've talked about off camera. Uh, talk to me about what it's been like to be competing this last couple of years. It's been fun. I mean, I've been able to travel to so many different places and see so many things that most people wouldn't be able to see in their lifetime. And just, I've been to Australia and I just got back from London a few days ago and Australia is by far one of my favorite trips and had a ton of fun in London and just being able to see the different things and get to experience different cultures. It's by far one of my favorite things about wakeboarding. This for you has been a lifelong pursuit, hasn't it? When did you start? Yeah. Um, I started water skiing when I was three and a half, and then when I was four, I got a wakeboard for Christmas and fell in love with it and been wakeboarding ever since. I started competing when I was five or six, and here I am, 17, almost 18, still doing it. So. Wow. Yeah, and kind of hitting uh, probably going towards the peak of your career at this mm -hmm. point. You're heading that direction very fast. Uh, we see you here having, a, it looks like having some fun, right? <laughs> yeah, um, that was a few years ago and just, I mean, I've progressed a little bit since then, so. Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see what you can do now. This yeah. is incredible stuff. But thank you. Yeah, I, I love it and it's one of my, it's my life and <laughs> just yeah. getting to wakeboard every day and that's what I do for a living. I'm glad to be able to do it. Yeah, you see a lot of sunsets out on lakes. Oh, for sure. Pretty ideal. Yeah, it had the best views ever. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's your favorite place? Um, I'm currently live in Orlando, Florida, and I love being there and being able yeah. to go home. And um, but my favorite place I've ever traveled is Australia. Yeah. I love. I can't wait to go back there. But they are embracing wakeboarding like crazy. Oh uh, yeah, some of the best wakeboarders have came from there. So, it's Australia is by far one of the biggest wakeboarding places besides Florida um, yeah. but yeah there's Australia is amazing but it's always good to be able to go home and just be home and be with your family and and you're essentially gonna be right on a lake now the, the new place right yeah I currently live on a lake um, Lake Jessamine but I'm moving on to Lake Holden which is just a lake over from where I live now and I, I'm so excited to be on there. I get to move in on July 4th, so wow. it'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there'll be fireworks for that. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's kind of ideal. <laughs> your family's been supportive of you competing over the years, your dad especially, mm -hmm. uh, making sure that you're able to compete. And then She Shreds, uh, you know, is this, uh, one of your major sponsors. Talk to me about what that's like to have this network of people who are, you know, pushing you, elevating you forward. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be able to do what I do today without my sponsors and my family. My dad supports me in everything I do and lets me do things that half the kids' parents wouldn't even think about letting them do. And You mean like starting at three? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've been um, living on my own since I was 15 and wow. not many people at all can say they've done that. Um, but my dad lets me do just about anything I want to do. and. Sometimes I don't know if he is thinking right, but <laughs> yeah, you question um, it even. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> but no, it's been amazing, and just being able to travel and it's 
been the best thing ever. A pretty ideal life for yeah. sure. You've, <laughs> you've had a great time. There's, uh, you know, we talked about this with She Shreds, a support network out there too, which is pretty terrific. Uh, you've got you've you've got a lot of girlfriends that have made some of these trips, uh, you know, not only possible but more fun. I was looking at some of your pictures from Australia. Uh -huh. um, wow, you guys have a good time yeah, everywhere you go. For sure, She Shreds definitely. Um, promotes me and supports me in everything I do and then being able to do it alongside all my friends and just getting to experience things with your friends just makes it so much better. Right. So. No other way to do it. Yeah. And Tony, that's really what this is all about. Experiencing all these things with our friends. That's what your your whole company, All Action Sports, has been about all along. Yeah, so I've spent my entire life kind of being stubborn or, yeah. or too dumb to know better that you know, I want to do things for a living that are fun. Yeah. Uh, and I've been grateful to kind of be around music, art, fashion, and sports yeah. in, in executing that. And, you know, my premise with All Action Sports, when I kind of spun that up about 15 years ago to kind of be in that recreation space, um, was really keeping things uh, family friendly that you know and keeping them so that they were you know community builders that they were beneficial you know even outside of the 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 sport itself or the recreation itself and that they were good for where they were in the geography um, and that's like it's been awesome relocating to Utah and kind of spinning this up here over the last four years uh, and being able to contribute the way we have to kind of building that community and building that that commerce around it, um, so yeah, I'm not mad. It's uh, oh, it's, yeah. a, <laughs> it's a good life. It's man. a good time, and it, you know, it comes with its friends' benefits. I get to ride a lot, so it's a, it's a good thing. You, you get know? to do it with your friends, yeah, too, and that's the best part. Yeah, you know, and we've got you know, my big joy, and you know, when I was younger, it was about being a rider and you know, trying to be. And I've never been good at any of this stuff. Uh, just kind of <laughs> always a hack, but you know, those that those that can't do teach, and it's been right. a my big thing is like I love teaching people, and we run a ton of clinics for wakeboard and wake surf. Yeah, well, including can, this weekend. Yeah, the, yeah. Be, uh, so you know, this, yeah, this weekend, um, you know, it, it's it's it, there is a learning learning opportunity with the the wake surf part of the day. Yeah. So if people wanted to come and never tried it before, there's there's opportunity to do that, and all the boats are going to be operated by competent competent operators, and yeah. and there's going to be pro wake surfers there as well to kind of help Chris Trim. There's going to be coaching and teaching people too, so it'll be a, a pretty exciting opportunity. Opportunity, and then we also have Taylor here uh, through part of next week. So we're doing clinics wow. on both Jordan L and on Pine View, um, kind of female only. Uh, but uh, and there'll be a ton of like the She Shreds ambassadors that are participating in that and, and kind of learning from her while she's here. So um, it's all about you know building people up. Well, it's so. it's certainly a lot of fun. I'm sure glad you guys are here to tell us all about it. And uh, we say hi to Gina Duffy, your, uh, your significant other, your your uh, better half. Absolutely, yeah. she she was happy this morning because it's usually her on this That's side right. kind of doing things. She and shreds all the time. When I left her, she still had a sleep mask on, and you know the 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 the, <laughs> the, like, the don't wake me up. Yeah, like, don't wake <laughs> me up. You go. Yeah, well, so. like I said, uh, it's fun to have you guys here. Tell us again uh, for this weekend times and dates. Okay, so yeah, Super Moomba Summer Crush uh, pr brought to you by Marine Products. Uh, we'll be starting the competition about 9 a.m. Okay. and the event itself will run all day. So tons of fun on the beach if you just want to come Canyon. and East Canyon. Uh, that'll be a full day event, like nine to about six or seven o'clock at night. Um, we got food there. We've got a ton of activities on the beach there. Uh, and then Taylor's Clinics. You can register for those. Still, we've got a couple seats left for Monday and Tuesday, both for Jordan L and Pine View. Um, and you can register for those at SheShreds.co. Um, and then for the other events. Uh, uh, later in the summer, if you want to mark the calendar, July yeah. 29 and 30, uh, the Wake Up Weekend, and that's wakeutah.com to check out the information for that. Awesome. And then when you get back into August, we've got that Rocky Mountain Wake Surf Open, the big tour event, which it's open, so it's pro and amateur. Um, so we've already gotten wow. a bunch of the world's he heaviest pros are already registered into this. And so anybody can come and try against them. Right. Any, well, you're not you're not necessarily competing against yeah. a pro, but in but. divisions. I've got <laughs> four, 14 divisions of riders over two days. You'll definitely uh, know how you, f yeah. how you fit in. Uh, for and, sure. and that's the Rocky Mountain Wake Surf Open, and you can find that at RockyMountainWakeSurfOpen.com. Well, we'll bring you back to tell us all about those as we get closer cool. to them. Both of you, thank you so very much for being here. We're wrapping up this hour of the Mountain Morning Show. No, we haven't forgiven, forgotten to give for, for the big giveaway. That's happening right here at the beginning of the next hour, so stay tuned for that right here on the Mountain Morning Show on Park City Television.